Hi friends, welcome to my channel Excellent Ideas in Education. Today we are going to solve this engineering mechanics problem. A horizontal line PQRS is 12 meter long and PQ is equal to QR is equal to RS is equal to 4 meter. So equally divided 4 meter. Forces of 1000 Newton, 1500 Newton, 1000 Newton and 500 Newton act at P, Q, R and S respectively with downward direction. The line of action of these forces makes angle of 90 degree, 60 degree, 45 degree and 30 degree respectively with P, S. What is given in this question? P, Q, R, S. So starting this is P. Last is S. P, Q is equal to Q, R is equal to R, S. So equally divide. This is P, Q, Q, R. This is Q. This is R. So this distance is 4 meter and this distance is 4 meter and this distance 4 meter. Forces of 1000 Newton is 90 degree. So first forces is 1000 Newton, 90 degree. So we will draw the line downward direction. You see the forces with downward direction. So the arrow comes downward. First force is 1000 Newton with 90 degree angle. Second Q is 60 degree with 1500 Newton. So 60 degree means inclined with downward direction. This is 1500 Newton 60 degree. Next 45 degree with 1000 Newton. This is also inclined. 45 degree with 1000 Newton. Next, 500 Newton at 30 degree. So, here comes 500 Newton with 30 degree. What we will find in this question, find the magnitude, direction and position of the resultant force. So what we will do, magnitude of the resultant force, we will find horizontal force, vertical force and magnitude of the resultant. Now we will solve this problem. First, magnitude of resultant force. Resolving all forces horizontal. You see the first force given as vertical, second, third and fourth is inclined. So how we will resolve these forces vertical and horizontal? First we will draw vertical and horizontal for all the forces. Now we will draw the horizontal and vertical line. You see the arrow, arrow comes downward. So downward means the arrow comes this side. Angle is here. So the angle comes this side. So angle side is always cos. Another side is sine. Now we will resolve these forces. This horizontal and vertical line. Angle side is here 45 degree. This side is always comes cos. Another side comes sine. We will resolve the forces vertical and horizontal. Draw the horizontal and vertical line. Angle side is here. Angle side is always cos. Other side is sine. Here, how we will take horizontal? Horizontal is comes this side. So the angle is here 90 degree. So this is cos. Here is sine. Now we will solve this problem. Forces horizontally. Remember this graph. Here is X. Here is Y. Y is vertical. X is horizontal. Now we will find horizontal. So horizontal is this side. Summation of H or summation of F of X. This direction is positive. Equal to. First, we will see the horizontal force. The first horizontal force is opposite. So, this side is always negative. So, minus 
1000 cos 90 degree. Next, we will see here horizontal force always opposite this also. Minus 1500 cos 60 degree. Next, you see the horizontal. So, the arrow goes down. So, down means the arrow comes this side. So, this is opposite side. Opposite side is always minus. So, the angle side is always cos. So, this side is cos. Minus 1000 cos 45 degree. Next, you see here the arrow goes downward. Downward means this arrow comes this side. The opposite side horizontal force is minus. So, minus 500 cos 30 degree equal to minus 1000 cos 90 is 0 minus 1500 into cos 60 is 0 0.5 minus 1000 into cos 45 is 0 0.707 minus 500 into cos 30 is 0 0.866 Summation of H is equal to minus 1890 Newton. Next, resolving all forces vertically. Vertical means Y. Summation of V or summation of F of Y. So, vertical means it goes up. This is positive. Equal to you see the vertical direction. So, vertical is this. You see the arrow comes down. Up is only positive. Down means minus. Minus 1000 sin 90 degree. Next, you see the arrow comes down in the vertical force. So, minus 1500 sin 60 degree. Next, you see this one, the vertical force arrow comes down. Down means minus. Here is sin. So, minus 1000 sin 45 degree. Next, you see the vertical force, the arrow comes down. So, it comes minus. Minus 500 sin 30 degree equal to Minus 1000 into sin 90 is 1. Minus 1500 into sin 60 is 0 0.866. Minus 1000 into sin 45 is 0 0.707. Minus 500 into sin 30 is 0 0.5. Summation of f of y is equal to minus 3256 Newton. Next, we will find magnitude of resultant force. What is the magnitude of resultant force formula? R is equal to root of summation of H, the whole square, plus summation of V, the whole square. Summation of H is minus 1890, the whole square, plus summation of V is minus 3256, the whole square, equal to 3765 Newton. R is equal to 3765 Newton. You see here summation of H and summation of E is minus. So R comes minus. Minus means downward. Resultant it is acting vertically downward. So, this is also downward. This is also downward. Next, we will find direction of resultant force. What is the formula of direction of resultant force? Tan theta is equal to summation of V divided by summation of H. What is summation of V value? Minus 3256 divided by minus 18. 90 minus minus cancer this is 
1.722 tan theta is equal to 1.722 theta is equal to tan inverse of 1.722 theta is equal to 59.8 degree approximately 60 degree now we will see the quadrant first quadrant this is plus x plus y minus x minus y first quadrant is always positive for x and y second quadrant x is minus y is plus third quadrant x is minus y is also minus fourth quadrant x is plus y is minus you see summation of h and summation of e is negative so negative means x and y is negative is third quadrant so where it comes theta theta comes this side here is 60 degree what is x x is 1890 what is y y is 3256 so what we need to find this position we need to find p2 q this x value we need to find this is the position of the resultant force next we will calculate position of resultant force how we will find position of resultant force let x be the distance between P and the line of action of the resultant force. Now we will use Verignan's theorem. What is Verignan's theorem formula? Summation of M moments equal to R into X is distance. What we need to find summation of m p this distance only we need to find so we will take it as p now we will find summation of m p moment clockwise is positive anti-clockwise is negative we will take clockwise which one we need to find up to here only we need to find this is the position of the resultant force summation of m p so m p means this is the p so we will take from here so this moment is always zero so we will go next to this one first is always zero next plus you see from here to here draw the circle circle means you see the arrow is comes down so circle you draw the circle the arrow comes clockwise only so clockwise means always positive plus i will draw here here is cos, here is sin. The same way here is cos, here is sin. Here is cos, here is sin. So we will take only vertical. So vertical this is comes downward. And arrow comes downward. Vertical only we will take. Now taking moment of the vertical components of the forces and the resultant force. So we will take the vertical. The vertical is sin. You see it comes positive or negative moment is always positive for clockwise so we will draw the circle you see the arrow goes clockwise only i will show here draw the circle arrow goes this side if arrow goes up means it goes this side so this side is anti-clockwise this side is clockwise clockwise is positive anti-clockwise is negative Next is 1500 sine 60 into what is the moment? Moment is equal to force into perpendicular distance. Which distance? We will take this one. P right? So P means it comes this side. So 4. Next we will see this one. You see the arrow goes clockwise. Clockwise is positive. Next also positive 1000 sin 45 into force into distance right moment so what is the distance up to here to p so 4 plus 4 8 next you see the arrow comes down you see arrow goes clockwise clockwise is positive 
Next also plus 500 sin 30 degree into what is the distance here to here up to P. So 12 into 12 equal to 0 plus 1500 into sin 60 is 0.866 into 4 plus 1000 into sin 45 is 0 0.707 into 8 plus 500 into sin 30 is 0 0.5 into 12 equal to 0 plus 5196.15 plus 5656.85 plus 3000 equal to 13853 newton meter this is summation of mp what is the variance formula summation of mp is equal to r into x summation of mp now only we calculated 13853 equal to what is r r means we will take this vertical force Vertical force is 3256 Newton. It comes downward. So we will take only positive. 3256. 3256 into x. X only we need to find. 13853 divided by 3256 equal to x. What comes this one? 4.25 meters equal to x. So, this value is 4.25. So, third quadrant only comes. This is 60 degree. Here is 3256. Here is 1890. We need to find this to this distance. This is x. This is p. This only we need to find. 3256 into x equal to summation of moment of p. So, we will get x value. Resultant is 3765 Newton downwards. Theta is 60 degree. x is equal to 4.25 meter. This is magnitude of resultant force. This is direction of resultant force. This is position of resultant force. This is the answer. Thanks for watching this video.